there! In this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like to grade a group assignment in Canvas. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Canvas course, of course, and then navigate to the assignment that you need to grade. So I'm going to click on my modules, I'm going to scroll down to my group assignment and open it up. And from there, I'm going to click on the speed grader so that I can look at the submissions that my students have submitted. So my first group, Jane Eyre one, so you'll notice that there are two groups and a test student group in my course, and that there is one submission here for Jane Eyre one. And I can go ahead and write on this, great work, I, I can spell correctly, I can, uh, you know, use the marker, I can click on some colors, all of the normal things that you can normally do with the edits, and I can give it a grade. So I can also insert a comment, so I can say, great work. And it's important to realize that the comments that are left are sent to all of the students in the whole group. So I wouldn't want to just leave a comment for the one student because it goes to everyone. So here's a comment for everyone. So I can go ahead and submit. Now, if I need to, so let me just submit this and make sure it's all submitted. I can back out of this um, speed grader. So let's say I know that one of the students didn't participate and I need to kind of adjust that grade. I can, um, let me go back for just a minute. I know it gets so fast. I, in this um, assignment page, I can click on the edit and then scroll down to the group assignment and say, assign grades to each student individually. And then I'm going to click Save. So now I'm going to click on that speed grader. And I'm going to look at my, so I know which students have submitted because it's that one group, right? And it will show me, oh, hey, here's, the, here's that team. But maybe this student didn't do as much, and I need to send them a comment. So I can say, send a comment only to the student or send a comment to the whole group. So I can kind of use this to adjust. So that's only if you check that box that this will happen. So I'm going to use um, Grog because I feel a little bit better about giving him a comment. Although these are all test students. So this comment has only gone to Grog. And then this grade will only be Grog's grade in this particular assignment. So I can tell that by going into the speed grader. So if I go over to my grades and I look for that one. So again, these are all fake students just so no one's freaking out that I'm showing off some kind of wild information. These are all fake. Uh, let's find that one. Here's the group assignment. So Grog got a five, but everyone else got a zero because I used the manual grading. So that's how that manual, so by saying I'm going to give students individual grades, it changes within the settings and lets you give them their own individual grades. So that's kind of how you adjust. Remember, so I can go back to my modules, click on that, that assignment, click on edit, right, to change the settings. And then I'm going to scroll down to where the group assignment are, is. And by clicking or unclicking the assigned grades to each student individually, I can adjust that grading. I can't undo the group assignment. It's already a group assignment. I can't undo it. They've already submitted. But I can change if I, I want to grade the students individually or not. So there you go. That's how you grade students 
in a group assignment in Canvas.